Good morning, and let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that they may be acceptable in thy sight, and glorify thee, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. The reading I'm sharing today is for Sunday, the fifth Sunday after Pentecost, and it's from Job chapter 38, verses 1 through 11. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkened counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest, or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy, or who shut up the sea with doors when it brake forth as if it had been issued out of the womb? When I made the cloud the garment thereof, and thick darkness a swaddling band for it, and break up for it my decreed place, and set bars and doors, and said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further, and here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Here ends the reading. Where were we when the Lord did all these things? Were we there advising God? Were we even there to witness it? Of course not. We were not there. He is the creator and we are his creation. Who are we to question his motives? Who are we to consider that we might have more insight, more knowledge, more wisdom than God? Who are we to judge God? Who are we to be making decisions that clearly go against his will for humankind? The Lord is our God. He is the only true God, the creator of all of the heavens and earth. Listen to him. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Lord, for all that you have done, for all that you have done for your whole creation. It is a wonder to behold. May we always remember that there is only one God, and it is you. We are not gods. We are your creation. Thanks be to you. In Jesus' name, we lift up our voices and give you thanks and praise your holy name. Amen.